I am Zeech, and you are the puppet that dances to my tune. Zeech is one of the four major chaos gods, and its areas of influence include sorcery, scheming, change, ambition, and knowledge. It is known by many names, the changer of ways, the great schemer, the father of lies and deception, the great mutator, the master of fortune, the great conspirator, the architect of fate, the great eagle, the shifting breeze, the master of fade, Cha, Chunch, Chen, and countless other titles and names from the millions of dialects and languages spoken throughout the galaxy. For every name by which the Master of Deceit is known, it has a thousand geysers and plots. Everything related to the Master of Change shifts, mutates, evolves, and transmogrifies. One can go mad, and many have, trying to study even the smallest threads of the great schema and to perform the impossible, to describe it and to fix it to one shape, one form, one motive, one truth. Perhaps the best way to characterize Zinj is not to describe it at all as over time, it differs from itself more than it does any other being. Zinch, like its endless schemes, constantly shifts, morphs, and transforms. It is without question the most disturbing and least comprehensible of all the Chaos Gods to mortals. Plotters and schemers, find themselves drawn to it, especially those who crave psychic or sorcerer's power to achieve their goals. Politicians and leaders, magisters and chaos cultists, all find themselves drawn along the convoluted paths of fate, using Zinge to achieve their dreams and aspirations, though ultimately, all are led to play their part in Zinch's own eternal schemes. No mortal can fully comprehend the full nature of the intricately woven, multi-layered plots of the Changer of Ways, and to attempt to do so can only lead to insanity. And yet, in reality, Zinch has no grand plan, no ultimate goal to fulfill. For Zeech, the mere act of plotting and entwining the brief fates of mortals is purpose enough. There is no end to its scheming, for it desires no end to the creation of change. It can never achieve any ultimate aim, for to do so would be the end of ambition, the end of change, and thus the end of the Lord of Destiny. Many are the followers of Zeech. Some willingly and knowingly follow the architect of fate, others Deceived by the father of lies and its servants, believe themselves to be advancing their own agendas, while in actuality, they blindly serve the changer of ways. Many rogues, renegades, heretics, and chaos space marines also serve Zinch. The reach of the architect is long stretching across the galaxy with special attention to regions such as the Eye of Terror, the Maelstrom, the Great Rift, and the Screaming Vortex, where the warp and reality become one. 
It is the master of the thousand and one plots, each more intricate and devious than the next, and none save for Zinch itself can possibly imagine, let alone fathom them all. Such is the changer of ways, and such is its control over the foolish efforts of all mortals. While not as numerous or as obvious as the followers of Korn, Zinch nevertheless has a strong and firm hold on the hands and minds of mortals. In fact, many more mortals serve it than are aware of it, its scheming and many names often obscuring the true force behind events. Mortal worshippers of Zinch tend to be sorcerers, psychers, scholars, and other educated elites who desire greater knowledge and power. Some of these worshippers become very powerful sorcerers, but Zinch has a tendency to mutate its followers, and the highest levels of power are said to be difficult for its mortal followers to reach as they frequently find themselves mutated into the mindless beasts called Chaos Spawn before they can unlock the most potent mysteries offered by the Lord of Change. Those who do attain great power in the service of the Changer of Ways, however, are extremely powerful foes mighty chaos sorcerers, as well as great warriors. Additionally, while Korn detests and forbids sorcery, intrigue and subtlety in all its forms, Zinch has no such qualms about using and manipulating brutish might when it strikes its fancy. As such, while Korn has no sorcerer or psycho followers, Zinch assembles armies of warriors from all walks of life. Anyone who inflicts or incurs great change in themselves or their surroundings is likely to fall under the gaze of the Lord of Change. Now, those who study arcane law employ psychic powers, practice the art of sorcery, or otherwise tamper with the power of the Empyrean, with or without Imperial sanction, are among Zinja's favorite targets for temptation and eventual corruption. Imperial scholars have determined that the incidence of the psycho mutation among the human population increases with each generation. It therefore follows that the risk Zinge poses to humanity has increased commensurately. As such, organizations such as the Inquisition, the Adeptus Astra Telepathica, the Adeptus Astronomica, and the Scholastia Psicana must remain forever vigilant and prosecute any trace of the influence of chaos with extreme prejudice. Many checks and restraints exist to prevent the influence of warp entities on the minds of Imperial psychers. But any security system and the individuals who maintain it are fallible, capable of errors in judgment, and themselves subject to temptations and dark influences. Even with these safeguards in place, Imperial Commissars operate under strict orders to execute sanctioned psychers at the first sign of possession or demonic influence. Zinchian Corruption Zinch is the changer of ways, the chaos god of change, sorcery and intrigue, which perhaps most directly embodies the heart of what chaos itself represents as a universal force. 
Fewer individuals and in chaos cults fall to the temptations offered by Zeej than to the other Runa's powers, as the immediate benefits the Lord of Sorcery offers are less tangible and immediate than the sensory pleasure of Slanesh, the diseased and disfigured immortality of Nurgle, or the bloodthirsty strength of Khorne. Instead, the worship of Zinch appeals most to those who value knowledge, especially secret, forbidden knowledge, and the power that it brings. Of course, the individuals most likely to be tempted into the service of Zinj are psychers, who already possess the secret and feared ability to tap the limitless power of the warp to reshape reality. Zinj offers them the knowledge required to achieve unlimited heights of psychic ability through the practice of the powerful, arcane psychic techniques known to the Imperium of Man as sorcery that can only be learned from interaction and communication with the dark powers of the Immaterium. For many, the forbidden knowledge Zinj offers is just too tempting to pass up, and before they know it, they have been ensnared within the grand schemer's tangled webs and find themselves as just another unwitting pawn in its chaos plots. No less a personage than the Primarch, Magnus the Red found it impossible to steer clear of Zinch's temptations, as his overwhelming desire to protect his thousand sons' legions' precious knowledge of the warp and sorcery ultimately led him into the embrace of the Changer of Ways. Even non psychers can find themselves pawns in the Changer of Ways as endless games of intrigue when they discover that if they make use of the heretical knowledge offered by the Chaos God just this once, they can perhaps better their station in life or that of their loved ones. Imperial nobles and politicians are often drawn into its web through the edge over their rivals it offers in the form of knowledge and the power it can provide. And yet, the lower classes also provide fertile ground for the Lord of Sorcery. In a society that is as difficult and repressive as that of the Imperium, it can be all too easy to give in to the blandishments of a charismatic heretical preacher who promises salvation and prosperity if one will just agree to follow a particular path towards enlightenment. It is in just this way that countless Zinchian chaos cults are begun across the galaxy. Many normally pious and good-hearted subjects of the Emperor, tired of the mindless, back-breaking labor and elite disdain that dominates life on so many Imperial worlds, are easily swayed to join various mystery cults. These cults slowly draw these folk ever tighter into a web of Zinchian corruption until, too late, they discover they have become the corrupt servants of chaos. While its corruption is the least common form of chaos perversion found across the Imperium, it is also the most feared by the Inquisition, for its adherents are the most powerful of Chaos servants and the best at concealing both themselves and their complex schemes from the light of the Emperor. 
Rivalry. Typically, the changer of ways stands in direct opposition to Nurgle, the Plague Lord, just as Khorne, the god of war and wrath, most fervently opposes Slanesh, the prince of decadence and depravity. Where Nurgle represents chaos as a force of stagnation and dissolution, Zinj embodies chaos as a force for change and development. Where Nurgle promotes and feeds off of despair and decay, Zinj promotes and is empowered by hope, potential and progress. Where Nurgle fosters deterioration and ruin, Zinj fosters germination and development. To many students of the Runer's powers, the, however speculative, ideological descriptions of the Changer of Ways make better sense when juxtaposed against those of Nurgle. Zinch's seeming antithesis amongst the Dark Gods. On innumerable occasions, its intricate plots have been foiled by Nurgle's malign influence, and the two gods as demonic and mortal servants clash as often with each other as with their mutual enemies in the Imperium and among the Xenos species. Despite Zinch's intense rivalry with Grandfather Nurgle, it is nonetheless the Chaos God with the most influence over the other major Runa's powers. At times, the Chaos Gods must unite and act in concert if their individual plans are to reach fruition, as they did against the Emperor at the time of the Horus Heresy, and it is always Zinj that brokers these rare reliances of chaos undivided. However, Zinj never acts out of altruism, and it can be guaranteed that every time it moves to unite the powers of chaos, it does so ultimately with its own unfathomable goals in mind.